Welcome to Infi Gyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are having one very interesting and challenging question from exponential equations. It is x power root x power cube root x equal to 64 power 64 whole power 64. We have to find out real solutions only. So let's get started. I will demonstrate three approaches to attempt this problem. So let me write here method or approach number one. And I will begin with as we have got square root x. So x must be positive for real solutions. Second point x cannot be equal to 0. Because 0 power 0 power 0 this will generate indeterminate state. Now I will consider our RHS as x power root x power cube root x. I will be writing as 64 power 64 times 64 by the property of exponent a power b whole power c it is equal to a power b times c. So we can write product in the powers. Now I will be writing 64 base as it is. Now this first 64 in the power 8 is square second 64 in the power 8 is square. Now bases are same so power will be added. a power b times a power c we can write a power b plus c. So here I can write 64 power 8 2 plus 2. So I will write 2 plus 2 and in next step we can write 64 power 8 power 4. Left hand side is x root x cube root x. Now we have to write 8 and 4 in this manner. So x square root x cube root x base 64 as it is. 8 we can write square root 64 and power 4 we can write cube root of 64. Now once we compare both sides, base is identical, x and x, then square root term we have got 64, cube root we have got 64. Conclusion is our answer will be x equal to 64. This is approach number 1. Let's consider approach number 2. Approach number 2. I will use log both sides. So let me write log both sides. x power root x power cube root x. Right hand side also. Log 64 power 64. And then whole power 64. Now I will write one property from log. It is log a power b. Anytime we can write b log a. So here we will consider this power as a multiplier and here this 64 will come as a multiplier. So let us write square root x power will be cube root x then we have to write log x and in right hand side we will be writing 64 times log 64 power 64. Again we can use the same property of log. We will take this 64 as a multiplier. So I will be writing it is 64 times 64 log 64. Now this will become 64 as 8 square. Second 64 again 8 square. And then I will be writing log 64. 8 power 2 plus 2 using the same exponent property log 64. Left hand side we have got a square root x power is cube root x then we have log x. Now I will be writing our final step which will be 8 we will write square root 64. 
power 4 we will be writing cube root 64 and then here it is log 64 and you can see left hand side is a square root x power cube root x log x. Now if I will compare both sides I can conclude x is equal to 64 using log. Now approach number 3 using substitution. Now I will consider x is equal to t power 6. See what will happen after that. So I will write square root x will be t cube and cube root x will be t square. So I can convert our equation into t. So I can write here t power 6 square root x. So I will be writing t cube in the power. Again I will be writing cube root x. So t square in the power equal to right hand side. I will be writing 64 and then I will be writing using exponent law 64 times 64. Now if I will write here 64 and then it is 8 square, 8 square, so 8 power 4. Left hand side we have t power 6, t power 3, t power 2 square. So I will write left hand side as t power 6 then I will write t cube then I will be writing t square see how it would be 64 can be written as 2 power 6 then 8 can be written as 2 cube then power 4 can be written as 2 square so it is like that now you can see Simply by comparing both sides, we can conclude t must be equal to 2. Once t is 2, I can find out x. So x will be equal to t power 6. So I will be writing 2 power 6. 2 power 6 is 64. This is our approach number 3. Now let's check the uniqueness of the solution. So I have drawn here the graph of our function x power root x power cube root x. Right hand side it is very big number. Suppose I am re removing these numbers considering here. Suppose this is 64 power 64 whole power 64. Left hand side we have got exponential function. Right hand side we have got one constant function which is a straight line parallel to x axis. One function is monotonic increasing, another function is constant function. So there would be at most one intersection point. And this point is x is equal to 64. I hope friends this video will be somewhere meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.